This coming Sunday is Mother's Day. It's a special day for a special person, our mothers. If you're fortunate enough to still have your mother with you, you'll want to really show your love and appreciation. In my case, my mother has gone to heaven now for 25 years. But guess what? I still have memories of her that are as vivid and clear as if she'd gone only a day or two ago. One thing that always stands out in my mind about my mother was her love for her Bible. They were inseparable. It was a holy book because it was the Word of God, which means it was totally reliable and that it will endure forever. As the psalmist declared, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Psalm 119, verse 89. It was just as Jesus said, Heaven and earth shall pass away. My word shall not pass away. Luke 21, verse 33. Not only was it eternal, but it was holy. It was God's word. We never so much as placed a sheet of paper on the Bible. It was sacred, and she was right. And then, too, the Bible was the final word. She never doubted God, never doubted what God said in that wonderful book. If God said it, my mother believed it without question. I hear about people questioning God. Why did you do or do not do such and such a thing? My mother would have been appalled at how some people questioned God. That kind of thing never entered her mind. God was God. There wasn't anything too big for her God. Only an imbecile would question God. And so it was from the Bible. My mother found her courage for the day, strength to carry a heavy load with a family of seven and two or three hired men as well. She relied on the promises of God that said, I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4.13 and I know that the sacred book made heaven more real to my mother. She never doubted God for a minute, so the promises of heaven were as real to her as life itself. She sang about it when she worked, and one day after 99 years and five months of life, she went to glory. I can't see my mother anymore, but I can see her precious Bible. And you know what? That holy book came to be precious to me as well. My earth earliest recollections in life were the Bible stories my mother read every night. A story from the Bible, a prayer, and a kiss. From those stories I learned about being obedient to God, as seen in the story of Noah, for instance, in the great flood. I learned about how God would help us in the battles of life, as mother read about David and the giant, if we just had faith and trust in God. And Peter, as long as he had eyes on Jesus, he could walk on the water. But as soon as he took his eyes off of Jesus and looked at the menacing waves, he began to sink. And oh yes, my mother's Bible taught me about the Savior and the importance of opening my heart to him. Yes, that wonderful Bible is a world of difference in the life of my mother and in the life of her son as well. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my mother. I thank you for the Bible she so revered. I just pray that all of us will love that book and love our mothers. In Jesus' name, amen.